What's going on guys? It's finally here. The big weekend is upon the world of British Athletics. We've got Bucks uh, from Friday to Sunday and we have Indoor World Trials, the British Championships from Saturday to Sunday. So I'm going to be trying to do both. I've got the Bucks tomorrow, which is the Friday, uh, and then the British Trials on Saturday. So if all goes well and I make the finals, that's going to be four races, two championships in two days, which is it's pretty hefty, so I'm going to have to make sure I'm all prepped, I've got all my stuff sorted, just so that I can ensure that I get through the rounds and uh, all is good. And hopefully, hopefully, I'm going to run 7-8. Uh, well, well, we'll see, you know, let's see how it goes. So yeah, alright, cool. What's up guys? Good morning. Got my breakfast going. Just uh, one bagel in half with some peanut butter. So that's Skippy. I'm going to have a yogurt as well. And then uh, I'm going to make some sandwiches also with the bagels. Got to love a bit of salami as well. Great stuff. Put a bit of spinach in there. This for later. And uh, yeah, I woke up, you know, got a good hour of sleep. Good eight, nine hours of sleep, so it was all good. And uh, hopefully today uh, things can go all well and I'm not feeling tired. I'm feeling good for the race. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Last year had a strong showing. 813 was his time in the heats. And completing the lineup is another Bluff Raff beat in Cameron Fillery. Fortunate enough to have three ever so exciting finals. Can this add to the drama? Jake Porter bursts out of the blocks, but not as quickly as you might expect. It's been a messy race so far. Here comes Pereira, and he might just edge him out. Jeez, I know you want that for your vlog, innit? So I thought, let me just catch it. How's it feel? Buck silver medalist? Happy? It is alright, man. It's alright. We like gold, but we'll take silver. We'll take silver. Well, yeah. nice. Another medal, another race. Yeah, exactly. On to, what trials tomorrow? Yeah, man. 7 9. Oh, that happened. 7 8? Oh, okay. Let's go 7 8. Oh, Miguel no. TV. You saw it here first. <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? Uh, first of all, apologies for not uh, getting footage or not getting much footage of the event. Uh, the problem was my phone died and my, my phone didn't have any storage as well, so I couldn't capture footage when I had the, the, the battery still left, so it was a bit of a mare. But I had a few friends who got some footage, so that was great. Uh, <laughs> overall, I'm kind of okay with it, you know, the heats, heats were kind of dodgy. I definitely was feeling the, the wrath of the cold that I had been sort of suffering with all week. So it was a bit bit of a shame with that one. Uh, I was, you know, I was definitely not getting out the blocks like I normally do. I didn't get good starts um, this this week, I did, uh, today. I didn't get good starts. Um, I finished well, definitely. I finished well in the final. I mean, <laughs> 0 0.0013 seconds was all that divided me and first place, which is crazy. I could not believe that that was actually the gap. It's ridiculous. So, you know, it's all good. Um, Silver is still great, got it here, <laughs> silver box medal, so that's all good. Um, and hopefully tomorrow I can come out and run run some really competitive times. I think I just want to sort of go in no expectations. At least there was, there was a pressure on medals today, but you know, fortunately there won't be any of that um, uh, British champs because I'm not looking in, I'm not going in thinking I need a medal. You know, if I get a medal, it would be great. But 
you know, I'm sort of, I just want, I want to run well, I want to execute and hopefully run some really good times. So again, apologies for not getting much footage. I'll try and make sure to make, uh, get some more uh, tomorrow and I'll, I'll catch you in the morning. Cool. See you tomorrow. Good morning. It is nine, uh, about nine o'clock in the morning and I've had a good sleep just uh, off the back of bucks ready to take on British Championships. So that's to be the third and hopefully fourth race in two days, which is going to be pretty crazy. Um, but I'm actually feeling really good for it. I'm not got much pain. I got a bruise on my knee from hitting the hurdle pretty hard in the heat. Um, rewind a bit just to go check that out. Also from the uh, <coughs> second hurdle in the final. Pretty sure I clocked that hard. Uh, but no, no, I'm feeling good. I'm hoping that today the times will be better. I hope I'll execute better because. I'm not coming here for medals, I'm coming here to run a times and sort of be competitive. So I want to, I really want to run something good today. So hopefully that, that comes through. So I'm going to go get some breakfast from the union and yeah, we'll see what happens. Cool. Hello, Megan. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Same idea. Yeah, you're not idea. Unbelievable. It's actually ridiculous how many how many seats there are. races uh came away with one medal unfortunately uh no pv that was the big disappointment this weekend i really felt like i was going to go into this weekend and uh, run something really quick but uh, i'll discuss that in another video i think that's a i'm going to do a video uh soon sort of analyzing how the indoor season went and where to go from here you know what what i want to do for the outdoor season uh targets i want to set stuff like that and just generally going over how the way uh this season went but in terms of just the weekend itself, um, I think I, I sort of came out achieving, in terms of position and medals, exactly what I thought. I thought I was going to go into, well, actually saying that I, I would have liked to have had Bucks Gold, but I came away with a Bucks Silver, which was on paper what I was uh, supposed to achieve. Um, and the same went for British Champs. I finished fifth. Um, the time was disappointing. I really hit that hurdle hard in um, in the final, hurdle two and hurdle three just completely set me back. You can see I just start to fall back. And I think I think if I'd uh, if I had executed properly, uh, that would have been the perfect race. I got out 
really well. I think I got out ahead of everyone, including the likes of David King, Andy Pozzi. Uh, I'm pretty sure I got out ahead first. But uh, no, I, I think I think definitely the whole uh, seven stride, eight stride thing is uh, is starting to play in my mind quite a lot because I'm I am struggling with eight strides and I am planning on making the switch to seven strides uh, for the uh, for the outdoor season. For those of you who don't know, seven strides is um, I'm talking about, I'm referring to the amount of strides we take to the first hurdle. Uh, I'm quite tall and I'm getting more powerful, so I am more capable of managing to reach for seven strides, whereas other athletes may not be able to do it. <clears throat> for me, it just allows me to have more space to attack the hurdle um, rather than having to have it jump on me real quick and then have to sort of you know compress my body down just to get over it. And then obviously my rhythm starts to fade from there. But all in all, uh, you know, I come away with a silver medal, uh, which is fantastic. I came away with consistent times. I ran 8.07, 8.0, 8.03, 8.03, which are all, you know, borderline, uh, really close to my PB. So, you know, it's not like they were poor times. Um, of course, they weren't what I wanted. I did want to run 7.8, I'm not going to lie. But that being said, not a bad weekend and execution was, uh, well, it could have been better, but it was okay. I'll, I'll take it. You know, it's not bad. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I'm sorry again that I couldn't get much footage. It is difficult. My phone keeps having problems with storage issues. So I need to sort that out, try and find a way around it so I can get better content out for you guys. But uh, yeah, if you uh, if you uh, enjoyed this video, then please hit like, uh, subscribe to the channel for more. And uh, yeah, leave a comment. If you were champs or if you uh, wanted to be or just watching, you know, let, let me know how, how, you, how you found it, how you found the whole event. Uh, also, finally, a big shout out to uh, Megan, who is now British champion with a new PB of 816, which is ridiculous. It's crazy. So we're all really happy for her, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a great season ahead for her. So you know, fingers crossed <clears throat> that uh, you know she starts running some crazy times outdoors as well. So uh, with that being said, guys, cheers for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.